Hello, this is Blonde Keith, and today we will review the meetings of two presidents, the latest in COVID news, the war on plastic, and the official lighting up of Christmas tree of Ukraine. <laughs> On the 7th of December, the US President Biden and Russian President Putin met by video conference. The main topic, of course, was the Russian and Ukrainian relations and the possible invasions of Russian troops into Ukraine. The unusual things about this meeting was that any details of the discussions and any possible decisions of the meetings were not officially announced. However, many experts speculate that some agreement were reached between Biden and Putin, but nothing in written form. So, no official documents were signed. If anything was agreed upon, it was only verbally. There are two clear facts. After a few hours of the end of the meeting, all mention of the possibility of imposing san sanctions against Nord Stream 2 were completely removed from the website of US Congress. This implies that Biden may have made concessions in regards for the very important issue for Russia – the final exploitation of Nord Stream 2. Because of this, Putin may have gave her certain guarantees of non-aggression against Ukraine, at least the nearest future. An indication of this is that over the past week there have been a noticeable decrease in discussion about the military situation in the media and significant decrease in activity of Russian troops concentrating along the Ukrainian-Russian border. The latest news concerning coronavirus COVID-19, the newest strain, better known as Omicron. In most countries of East Europe, including Ukraine, not a single case of Omicron has been recorded so far. And of 8 in December, Ukraine has registered the first case of Omicron variation. At the same time, traditional test PCR or Express cannot detect the new strain. In Ukraine, due to increased pressure from the state, the number of vaccinated citizens is constantly growing. As of 9th of December, all non-vaccinated workers were fired. Since then, the percentage of vaccinated people has steadily increased. The current percentage is quickly approaching the indicator promised by the president. 50% of eligible adults will be fully vaccinated by the new year. In my last video, I mentioned uh, that Kyiv was in yellow zone. That remains unchanged. On December 10, the first phase of the phasing out small clear plastic bags began. The second and third stages are planned for 2022 and 2023, resulting in completely removal. This is direct EU requirement aimed at reducing environmental pollution and waste, and ordinary customers will be paying to improve ecological situation. This has already begun. All retail outlets apply for small charge for plastic bags. At the moment, the cost is rather symbolic. But indignation has already begun to spread among the masses. First of all, the most stores and supermarkets don't provide an alternative for the plastic bags. For example, some paper bags that have been discussed so much. And second, the environmental damage caused by metallurgical enterprises and different power plants, the equipment of which is long outdated, needs urgent modernization. In 2021, the new year and Christmas holidays started in mid-December, unusually early. In particular, in Kyiv, they changed the long-time tradition of official lighting of Christmas tree. This has always occurred on St. Nicholas Day, December 19, but have been changed to December 18. Why? There has been no explanation for the change. Maybe they wanted to start earning money from the market as early as possible. The New Year's holidays have always been a good period for increased prices and government revenue. All many entrepreneurs fear the new lockdown and return back to the red zone. The epidemic situation could worsen in January 2022, so they decided to start early. So now let's see official lighting of country's main Christmas tree. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching my videos and uh, please don't forget like, follow and subscribe. Thank you. See you soon. Three, two, one.